This video is sponsored by Southern New Hampshire University. So what are 10 easy to make blocks that Minitune could make in the next build mode update? We all know that Minitune has stated that he is done with updating the main piggy game, but fortunately he has stated that he's still willing to keep updating build mode. In one of my recent live streams, Minitune actually paid a visit, took our suggestions, and started making a secret build mode update during the stream, which resulted in new things such as the traitor gun, shadow blocks, and scalable crash and magic blocks. We don't know how often Minitune will update build mode, but one thing we can do to make more build mode updates come sooner and get really useful blocks in the game is to start off with the things Minitune can add into the game that would be very easy for him to add. So today, I'm going to be talking about the 10 easy to make blocks that Minitune could add into the game now. The first block that I'm going to talk about is the infection block. It's an invisible orange block with a TOI in the middle. When a player comes into contact with this block, they will be instantly turned into a piggy, similar to infection mode. This block would be scalable, of course, like all the blocks on this list, but there would also be a settings gear above it. This block would allow you to choose a new setting, enable one-time use. For maps and game modes where you'd only need one piggy, the block could be toggled to only infect one player. You can make an infection machine in piggy, use it as a tool in new game modes, or even make a special puzzle in build mode. What if you needed to cross a river of acid with no bridge? Only piggy can survive doing that. There's another block that comes into play with this puzzle though, and we're gonna be talking about that one next. So in build mode, we're starting to get so many new complex items, and we're all starting to get so good at the game, Minitune himself would just sit there and wonder, hey, why not just go make your own Roblox games using Roblox Studio? In fact, imagine if you had the knowledge and skills to be able to make your own video games and potentially turn it into a career. That's why Southern New Hampshire University is sponsoring today's video. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. Their game development degree will provide you with the skills and knowledge you need to succeed in the gaming industry, such as all of these topics. Just like why it's important to have so many different blocks in build mode, it's important to develop a well-rounded skill set and become a versatile game developer. Make sure to go to snhu.edu slash c 3 it's also linked in my description, to see what the current average annual salary for a programmer is, and to request free information about the program. A real person will hop on a call and discuss how the program can benefit you personally when you're request information. It only takes one click to find your calling. The next block that can be added is the Cure block. This block would act as the complete opposite of the Infection block. When an infected player comes into contact with this block, they will instantly be turned back into a human. Also just like the Infection block, this would also have a settings gear icon that lets the block have a one-time use. So let's talk about that puzzle again. After you cross the River of Acid, you could set up the Cure blocks to turn the players back into a human before they move on to the next puzzle. For both the infection block and the cure block, there should be a new in-game setting that turns automatic game overs, when everybody is piggy, on and off to allow game modes where everyone gets to play as piggy. The next block that can be added is the escape block. The white key exit door in build mode is pretty limiting. If you wanted to win a map, you're forced to use a door. What if you wanted to win by jumping down a giant hole or getting inside of a helicopter? An invisible escape block that, upon contact, will allow players to escape could become much more versatile. Another block that would be great to have in the game is the ammo block. Now that we recently got the traitor gun in build mode, it's now possible to create FPS games in Piggy. Who would have ever guessed that would be like this in the future? But for the game modes with a lot of firing, you'll need to be picking up tons of ammo. In fact, you'd have to focus more on that than actually firing at enemies. That's why an ammo block in which when a player touches it, it refills their ammo, would be super helpful. The settings gear button would also allow you to specify how much ammo you want to reload the gun with, the cooldown for touching the block, and having it be one-time use or not. 
The item block would be very helpful not just for new game modes, but for general maps as well. When a player comes into contact with this block, it'll give them the item that is specified by the builder. If you ever want to make a game mode where everyone is shoveling snow in the form of a race, you could place an item block inside of the player spawn. It would give all players the shovel item instantly. Of course, you could toggle this block to be one-time use too, as some items you'd want players to have one of, and other items you'd want to have people get more multiple times, like TNT for example. One of the most frustrating things in build mode is when the owner needs to go to their own special control room to make minigames function, or just to be able to observe the game. But other players will end up finding your room and trying to come in. That's why the player only block would solve this issue. Simply add your username or any other usernames to the block settings, and then block a doorway with them. Any player who is on the list will be allowed to no clip through, and any player who is isn't on the list will not be able to walk through it. Of course, this block would be scalable and texturable in order for it to blend in with the environment. Speaking of no clipping, why not just add that as its own block too? It works the same way as the player only block, but everyone can walk or fall through it. I can't tell you how many backrooms maps I've seen, and even maps that aren't those can utilize blocks like these. One of my favorite new traps in the game is the bone trap. It causes a jump scare when someone walks on it. Do you know how much scarier maps could be if they were set to breakout mode and Minitune introduced the jump scare block? Upon contact with this block, it would play the skeleton piggy jump scare. You could set this block to play the jump scare one time only per player, slow down the player or not, and you could even select jump scares based on different available piggy skins to better fit the theme of your map. This block would be scarily good. One of my favorite things about becoming the trader in Piggy is being able to use my Piggy traps as a human. That's why a trap block would be a ton of fun. You place the block and select what trap and what trap skin you want to spawn there. And when the game starts, there it is. You could toggle whether or not these traps can be utilized by just Piggies or by everyone too, such as the teleporter trap. This would be amazing also because now you could spawn in crawl traps as NPCs for the first time ever instead of having to get lucky with the dreidels to spawn them in. Another block that can be easy to add into the game is a damage block. Everything in Piggy is designed to insta-kill you, from Piggy herself to spike traps, acid, and etc. What if there was a block that could punish players without necessarily oofing them? The damage block would, on contact, damage players based on the specified amounts in the settings, where you could pick from 1 damage to 99 damage, since 100 damage would kill the player, assuming they have 100 HP. And of course, you could toggle the block to affect each player one time only, like if you wanted to make a map that makes you take fall damage. This is just a little side tangent I wanted to go on, but aside from these blocks that can be easy for Minitune to make, we gotta also talk about the NPCs. I might save this for its own video, but some NPCs that Minitune could possibly easily add into build mode would be, number one, the Crawl Trap NPC, the Sentinels NPC, and of course they'd be killable with the little like lead pipe thing from Distraction. The Friend NPC, you know that creepy super fast crawl trap that oofs a player when it catches them. Infected Foxy from the Carnival chapter, you know the one that moves around the cage. And even the Soldier Piggy Dirt Mound that spawns in soldiers periodically. You know, I think adding these as well would also add so much more to the game. Want the newest quickest Roblox content? Subscribe!